Jeff Cote here with Boating Tech Talk, and we've got another box opening. I have here probably one of the most popular navigation uh, pieces of equipment are, that are in the market right now. Uh, it's the Garmin 1243 XSV, X-Ray Sierra Victor. Yes, um, this packs a lot of punch. I'm not saying it's the best product out there. That's not what I'm saying, but I am saying that this is probably one of the most popular products. Uh, out there right now in the marine field and it in my opinion provides extremely good value uh, so it's definitely a strong contender uh, certainly from Garmin if you're considering a Garmin sort of suite of navigation uh, this would be probably on everyone's sort of list I'm not saying you're gonna go with it but you know what you might so first of all you can see the box is a little bit impressive right um, you know you bought a expensive piece of equipment um, and this is not super light uh, and it gives you a sense that you're, there's something special inside. So you can see the box is well done right from the manufacturer. Garmin is a well established and pretty significant player within the marine industry. Um, the good news is the box actually shows you what the different sides of the unit are. So I think that's really actually smart. They're actually sh trying to show you what it looks from the profile shot on the box. They're actually even showing you what it looks from behind all the different connectors. We're gonna open this box, so uh, we're gonna be seeing this firsthand, and we've got two cameras going, one from up top, one from the front. We're gonna nail it. And then it even shows you the specs on the other side. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, just the outside of the box, even if you were at a store and you didn't know what to ask, a lot of the information is actually on the outside of this box. So really good use of the real estate. Um, Pretty neat. So what we're going to do next, um, by the way, before I even open the box a little bit, um, so this is a 12 inch chart plotter. That's why it stands for from 1243 XSV. So the 12 actually stands for uh, 12 inch. The 43 as opposed to 23 says that it has built in cartography. So it has includes charts. And the XSV stands for having a transducer port. So this actually is able to have a transducer plug-in. Transducer is what you would have either uh, mounted somewhere on the boat, either in hull, through hull, or at the transom to actually see a uh, bottom profile and even for fish finding, right? So this is actually gonna show you a map of what the contours beneath your boat. So again, 1243 includes a sounder, includes charts. Pretty cool. Okay, excellent. All right. So we're going to do that. We're going to start. Excellent. So when you're opening something like that, you know, you want to open obviously with caution. You'll notice right away there's a serial number right on the front of the box. And so you don't want to lose that. They give you two copies. All right. Um, what I find neat about... Um, chart plotters like this is right at the top they're showing you uh, the cover and you can see from this picture right here this tells you the size of the overall display right so sometimes we actually use the cover and only the cover as we're trying to fit somewhere on the boat of like oh where is this chart plot going to fit do we have place and we'll use this and there's going to be a cutout template in here which is great but this is sort of a more sort of physical rigid thing that you can kind of size and figure out yeah I think it's going to look good here right? Because this gives you a direct size of what the overall display size is going to look like. So the cover comes in obviously in a plastic, so to protect it, which is nice. All right. As you can see um, from up top, from this view, you can see that what's nice here is that the chart plotter is well protected and they give ample crush zones, right? So sometimes boxes are not loved as much as we want from our carriers. Um, so what's neat is you can see there's almost a couple inches or probably five centimeters on almost all sides in case something happens to the box. Okay, so the next part we're going to do, this is always the scary part, and even though I've opened boxes like this thousands of times, uh, this is a computer, right? Remember, it's not a display anymore. Uh, this is actually a computer. So you take it with your hands on either side, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just deposit it right beside, okay? Okay. We're going to keep opening the box and then we're going to come back to the screen. So the next part that you have in here is, I wouldn't call this the manual per se. This is sort of the installation guide. Uh, the manuals actually now are in the device or you can actually get them online because unfortunately too many of us don't read the manuals as we should. So a lot of the manufacturers don't bother actually uh, printing them anymore because most of us don't read them. 
Now, Garmin is uh, famous for ease of use, so not everyone actually, some people just sort of go at it and figure it out, or you can look at online and see, you know, demos and whatnot. So this comes with it. Remember I was saying about the cutout. That's a great thing about Garmin too, and all the manufacturers do this, but it's nice to say, you know, like if you're wondering how the hell am I gonna install this on my dash? Like I'm gonna have to figure it out. Like, am I gonna measure it? And then, nope, it's actually made exactly to the dimensions of the cutout. So you would literally um, affix that to whatever, wherever you're gonna mount it. And they actually show you where the drill holes are gonna be. And so it's trying to make the installation as less nerve wracking as possible. And if you're a boat owner and you're not nervous about making a hole in your boat, just wait till you make a hole that you regret and you're gonna remember that this is actually very useful. So this is a cutout template. Um, this little white box here is actually where you have, once the screen is mounted to hide the screws, uh, the bezel that goes around the display, there's a top and there's a bottom and that goes, that's right here. So you actually mount those on top of the screws and so you can't see that the display is actually fastened to your dash, okay? Next, there's another box inside the box and what they do is they actually give a little cutout so that you can actually pull this. And you can see as I'm wiggling it up, all right? So now what I'm gonna do next to make a little bit of space is I'm gonna close this box and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna look at what's inside the other uh, brown box right here. All right, excellent. Okay. So this uh, brown box is basically gives you everything that you need for this device. So notice, which is actually kind of handy, um, this is a real trunnion mount made of metal. It's relatively heavy, which is what you want. It's sturdy, it's not plastic, which is great. So that's how you would actually choose to, some of us are gonna have dashes on our boats, right? Um, it doesn't need to be a cutout, you know? Certainly makes the installation easier. You can see different hole patterns for different mounting orientations. And this would actually, the display would actually fit in the front here. And you could actually have the display be at different angles uh, for the viewing angle, which is great. So that's a called a trunnion U-bracket. They all have different names. Um, this uh, little bag here, and you can see Garmin, what they do is they do red for power which makes sense, energy, power, red, I kind of like it. And um, here's a box and it even comes with fuses and there's little pigtail wires. Um, and this is how you would actually interconnect the unit to actually get power onto the display. They give you here a pigtail adapter in case you're wondering. Um, this is a pigtail adapter to change different transducer types to actually fit in the back of the unit. So this is sort of like a little pigtail that comes and this would be for interconnecting Again, different transducers. Notice right here, NMEA 2000. Here's a little bag. There's an NMEA 2000T in here. This is an NMEA 2000 drop, means it allows you to interconnect to an NMEA 2000 backbone. So it's not, it doesn't give you a backbone. You should still install a backbone, but if you're adding a display or another display or multiple displays, every display from Garmin is gonna have its own NMEA 2000 cable to interconnect to an NMEA 2000 backbone. NMEA 2000, in case you're not familiar, is a protocol whereby different devices on your boat can start communicating with one another. It could be autopilot to chart plotter, it could be a wind instrument to your chart plotter, it could even be, um, I don't know, uh, NMEA 2000 information can also be engine information, right? How many of us, especially that have newer engines, that or with J1939 or NMA 2000 want to see their engine gauges on their dash. Pretty neat. You would do that over NMA 2000. Um, here again in the box, what we have here are these little knobs that go at the side of uh, the trunnion, the U bracket here that would hold the display if you're not going to flush mount it. And we also even have ferrites uh, that can be installed on the cables as well. Um, ferrites are handy and they're made to stop uh, basically electromagnetic interference. All big words, big words, all right. Okay, um, lastly in the little brown box we have uh, these little sort of, um, I guess they're little foams to when you're mounting display on the dash and you want it to be a perfectly cinched 
right? So you have these little foam pads to make sure that it's well sealed around the dash. Because some of us, right, are actually gonna be mounting these displays outside. Like these displays are actually marinized and they allow you to actually sh have those displays be out in the element. So if you're gonna do a cutout, which is a hole, you don't wanna have water come down the hole into your boat. All right, so with that, we're gonna start the cool part. Cool part is this little baby right here. Uh, you can see really good foam, um, which is important because again, this is a computer, right? It's not just a display anymore. Here you go. Um, and then have a look at this. Again, with care, you can't drop this, can never happen. I never did, but I'm always worried. Um, so this is the front and you can see there's a nice pro protective uh, sort of, you've got to take this off. We're not going to do that, but you can actually see. This is so make sure that while you're mounting and something happens, you're not gonna scratch the screen, but you're gonna actually scratch the protective cover. So you never wanna take this off until everything is done. Like you install the whole display, and then once you have the display, you're like, okay, I did it. And then you take the cover off. Um, look at these ports in the back. I mean, it's just crazy, right? Um, so they're giving all these network ports in the back, which is kind of neat. I'm gonna actually put this down uh, so that you can actually see it from the top because this is probably the best way to have a look at it. Um, and so what you wanna do is you can see here is the power port right there, right? You've got a bunch of network ports. You've got the J1939 port right on the display, super handy for some of us that have um, engines that are outputting J1939 so that you wanna integrate into the chart plotter. Um, what are the other things? A USB for updates, which is really handy. These big ports are RJ45s. It's an ethernet cable uh, like you would have at home. And that's how you would connect a radar or screen to screen, right? So radars and displays are gonna be connecting to one another and maybe even external sounders are gonna be connecting to one another over ethernet. So those are ethernet ports. So you could literally have two ethernet devices, a radar and another screen. So effectively this is a switch, right? If it's a device that has multiple ports, it's a, effectively, it's a two port switch. So you can connect a radar and another screen right onto this device here. Uh, you've got an HDMI port, which is pretty handy. I mean, look at that. So you can actually output this device to a monitor. I'm doing that on a boat right now, which is handy. So they're actually displaying this display on a big flat screen TV. Uh, NMA 2000 port is right here. And this orange port here is where that little pigtail adapter that I was talking to you about. So you can either terminate a transducer that has the right same color to color, or if your transducer is blue, then you would put an orange to blue uh, pigtail. And um, that's about it, I think. There you go. Those are all the main ports. Oh, and you even have a chassis ground. By the way, chassis grounds are important. Um, it's... Most of us don't install it and hope it's gonna work, but I really believe in RF or grounding all these displays. Um, it's gonna make the ghosts disappear, if you wanna say. So this is the Garmin 1243 XSV, an awesome screen. Um, you can network multiple screens to it. You can network a radar to it. You can connect a sounder to it. It's got a built-in GPS. It does NMA 2000, J1939. I mean, it's a computer. And, uh, you know, when you're going to be investing in a new screen like this for your boat, I tell people that it's at least a 10 year horizon as an investment minimum. Most of us, it's 15 and some of us, it's 20, 25 years. Do your research, right? Educate and then do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. Glad to donate my time to make these videos and to share our passion for marine electrical. Help us keep this channel ad free by donating on PayPal, link below, or also potentially buying some of our merchandise on our store. We hear we've got a hoodie, we've got a hat, and we also have some tumblers and other gear. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.